let's have a look at question four in this video. So we have 200 hours per month to divide between work and leisure. Now the net wage is 20 euros per hour. Uh, there is a system of poverty alleviation, meaning that if we have less than 500 euros per month earnings from work, we receive a grant of 600 euros per month. And if we earn more than 500 euros per month, the grant, only the grant is reduced by 50 cents for every euro in earnings until the grant is zero euros. Okay, we have to draw the budget constraint. Uh, now, what do we have here? We have two cases. We have a budget constraint without the grant and a budget constraint with the grant. Let's first do the, 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 the one without the grant because it's simple. So we have 200 hours in total and we have wage worth of 20 euros per hour. Well, let's see. If we would have no grant, what would that mean? Well, we could have at most 200 hours of leisure because we have income and leisure as our two goods on the axis. And the idea is that we have leisure and income could be, we could think of it as work. That's the money that work gives us. So at most we could have 200 hours of leisure, meaning that we would have zero income because we would not be working. And on the other side, at most we could have 200 hours of work times 20 euros per hour, which is worth 4,000 euros, but we would have no leisure. The leisure would be zero. Hope this all makes sense. Now, if we connect this two, we would have, we would have the regular budget constraint. So this line over here will be our regular budget constraint without, without the grant. Now let's see what happens with the grant. So with the grant, we have 600 euros if we earn less than 500 euros, right? Meaning, meaning that until until the point of earning 500 euros, which would be 600 euros in, in grant plus 500 euros in earnings, that's worth 1100 euros. Until that point, our grant is not reduced by anything. We just get it right when income is below is below 500 euros. We get a grant of 600 euros. So let's see how that looks graphically. Uh, and one more thing that we need to know, when would we get, when would we get 500 euros in earnings, right? This would be earnings from work. Well, 500 euros in earnings, since we get 20 euros per hour, right? Divided by 20, that's worth 25 hours of work. So that's worth 25 hours of work. But on our axis, we must show it in terms of leisure. So 200 minus 25 would be worth 175 hours of leisure. Now let's see how that looks like. And since here, since here our grant is not being reduced, it means that we keep all the money, right? When we speak about the grant being reduced, we're speaking that the euros from earnings are being reduced, right? The grant is reduced by 50 cents for every euro in earnings. So the slope on our budget constraint is going to be our net wage, the opportunity cost. Hope this makes sense. So uh, we would have, we would have, 1100 euros max and we would keep the full amount meaning that the slope on that region must be the same as the slope on the yellow line it's still a net wage of 20 euros per hour so when we would have the grant we would be able to not work so the leisure would be worth 200 hours for 200 hours worth of leisure we could get 600 euros in grant so this over here this over here would be would be our grant of 600 euros and until we earn 1100 in total meaning 600 from the grant and 500 from the work so let me put it like that over here 1100 1100 euros that makes us that makes us work that makes us work for 500 euros 500 euros until that point we keep all the money and we said that belongs to a leisure of 175 hours so let me plot it with a different color uh, this one no this one so 175 hours of leisure and we would keep the same the same wage meaning that the slope must be parallel to the yellow line so it must go it must go up like that yes until this level so let me connect the dots, make it accurate over here, over here. Yeah, this is going to be the point. And it belongs to 175 hours of leisure, meaning 25 hours of work. So over here, we still keep all our money over here. We still keep the wage equal to 20, 20 euros per hour. Now, beyond this point is what matters the most on this graph beyond this point. So beyond this point means we are working more than 500 euros. We are working more than 500 euros. 
and our grant is gonna be reduced from the money from our work by 50 cents per euro. So what is the amount of money that we're going to make from work that will cancel out the effect of the benefit? Well, 500, hold on, 600 euros worth of the benefit divided by 0.5 is equal to 1200 euros. And we're gonna interpret this in a second because this might be confusing sometimes, but I hope if you look at it in a different way, it's not. Uh, 1200 euros, if we make 1200 euros beyond beyond 500, so that would, so that would mean another, another 1200 euros in total, right? Another 1200 euros in total, we will not keep that 1200 euros in our income. This is our actual income, the money that we keep in our pocket. We will keep only, we will keep only 600 of it. Why? Because 50% of it goes to the government. So 1,200 times 0 0.5 goes away from us and we're left with 600. Meaning that beyond the level of working for 500 euros, we would keeping net, we would keeping net in our pocket 600 euros more. So until this point, we reached 1,100 euros in total and now we'll reach 600 euros more. So we will have 1100 plus 600 net this is net right gross is 1200 net is 600 so we reach a maximum point again of 1700 euros 1700 euros over here and on that range on that range the opportunity cost this slope is gonna be half of this one because just we discussed we just discussed that 50 percent of it is taken from us so the opportunity cost is just 10 euros per hour let's connect those dots and by the way, by the way, when do we get 1700 euros in income? Well, 1700, because that's 1200 plus the 500 that we would earn until that point, that's 1700 euros in total. And we make 20 euros per hour. So that belongs to, that belongs to 1700 divided by 20 euros per hour. That's equal to 85 hours of work. So that's equal to 85 hours of work, but we must show it in terms of leisure. And the leisure is the difference between 85 and 200. So that's equal to 115 hours of leisure. Meaning that the point over here, the point that we are going to connect on the axis is gonna be equivalent to 115 hours of leisure over here, 115. And this slope is gonna be flatter. That's what we're trying to show because it's smaller, it's just 10. Uh, let me connect it also with this color like that. It's gonna be smaller. So the wage over here, the opportunity cost is gonna be worth 10. And beyond that point, let's see what happens beyond that point. Well, beyond that point, the benefit has been reduced, right? We are only taken away 50 cents per euro to reduce the benefit. We reduce the benefit at this point. So after that, we keep our, we keep our regular wage. We keep our 20 euros per hour again. So that's why we go along this axis where the slope is 20 once again. So the wage over here is 20 once again. Hope this all makes sense and we are done.